Hey everybody, it's Chris over Dixieland Farm, and today I'm going to talk about Myth TV, Roku's, and Plex Media Servers. So this is a very specific video for specific people. Let me go over some of the stuff real quick. Myth TV is an open source DVR project for Linux, so it'll record TV for you and make it available like a DVR. If you had a computer, you're set. If you wanted to use the Roku to watch those videos, however, uh, there used to be a third-party channel that you had to private install, and th th that code got so old that it just didn't work anymore. Uh, you could make it available through a web server kind of thing, but then that gets funky. And then there's Plex. Plex right now is free. You can pay for extra features. That may change in the future. Plex is a great media server, so you install it on the computer where you want it to run. can be the same computer that records your TV and it'll serve up videos to other Plex clients, which there is an official channel on Roku. And there used to be this great plugin that would take your Myth TV metadata and it hook into Myth TV and Plex and make the two talk to each other. But even that code started to go south after a while. You know, what happens on some of these private coding things are the author makes the thing that he needs and then just goes away because he's, he's set. So the code started to depreciate over a couple of years. I even had to modify some of the code. I posted my changes, but the documentation started to get sketchy on what people made changes to. Uh, so, you know, and I'm not good at coding, but I just made it work for me. So anyway, this solution is going to bypass all that. Oh, and by the way, plugins are no longer supported on Roku. Uh, there's a way you can install a private channel where they still are available, but this gets rid of all of that. This uses the built-in stuff that's in Myth TV and Plex and just makes it happen. So uh, Plex will serve up videos that you record. If they are in the native format that Roku can uh, recognize, they'll just play directly. And if they need to be transcoded because they are not in the format that Roku recognizes, it'll automatically do that as well most over the air uh, in America is MPEG-2 video, so it'll transcode on the fly, depending on how good your processor is and all your settings and things like that. Now, the only piece of software that you need is MythLink, and this is going to depend on your distribution, on where this is available. If we look at my screen uh, over here, we can see that MythLink is actually in User, Share, Doc, MythTV, Backend, Contrib, User Jobs, MythLink, PL. So it's just a Python script that, uh, with a certain amount of commands, it will make links to your video. So it'll look at your Myth TV backend, find the proper names, episode numbers, things like that. Things that we will actually build and have Plex look at to grab the information. So it'll grab from this other directory. And you can see I actually wrote a little program here called Myth Links Roxbox, because I also use the Roxbox program uh, channel on the Roku. And all I do here is I just run Myth Link and then the link I put into a directory, and then this format. And this little piece of code, which is not really code, it is command line, I'll put it in the description below. I run this program, this uh, myth link, I run it once a night. That's all I need. You could run it hourly. I run it as a cron job. So a cron job just is a, a job that you set up to run however often you want. So I just run it once a night, I think at 2 a.m. Now if we go and look at my uh, Plex settings, what I do is I have Myth TV directory where all these links are scanned every hour. So if the two happen where you know one's deleted and then the thing actually scans, it'll get blank and then so all this stuff happens at two in the morning where I'm not awake anyway. And basically it'll just look in this directory and then make the videos available. So we can see here we've got America's Got Talent and I can just go ahead and play America's Got Talent right here on my web browser. And, well, heck, why not? Just we'll play two seconds of it. So, it's now in that Plex directory for Myth TV, and all I need to do is now go in my Roku channel, and there is a directory for Myth TV where all my videos are automatically available for me to watch. So I don't need a front end, let's say, in my bedroom where having a computer is not necessary. I could just have a Roku and that'll be enough for me to be able to watch videos that are on my Myth TV system. I tend not to do that at night. We tend to watch uh, uh, DVD rips of The Simpsons, which we can also do through Myth TV if we choose. I use a different uh, channel 
but again, both of those options are available. So that's all it takes to link up your Roku and Myth TV. It's just MythLink, which is built in to basically your Myth TV anyway, as a simple command line. And again, I just run it as a cron job. If I wanted to make something available earlier than the 2 a.m. scan, I could just type the command line in and run it. And within an hour, I guess, it'll show up in uh, Plex unless I force a scan in Plex, which I can do through a web browser. From so. Dixieland Farm, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Take care.